Hi there, young math whizzes. Ready for a multiplication challenge? Jump into our Math Quiz for Kids channel for 20 exciting multiplication questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe to join in on the fun. Question 1. 7 times 6 equals what? So the answer is, 7 times 6 is 42. To calculate, we have 7 groups with 6 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 42 balls. Question 2. 9 times 3 equals what? So, the answer is, 9 times 3 is 27. To calculate, we have 9 groups with 3 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 27 balls. Question 3. 5 times 4 equals what? So, the answer is, 5 times 4 is 20. To calculate, we have 5 groups, with 4 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 20 balls. Question 4. 9 times 8 equals what? So the answer is, 9 times 8 is 72. To calculate, we have 9 groups, with 8 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 72 balls. Question 5. 5 times 7 equals what? So, the answer is, 5 times 7 is 35. To calculate, we have 5 groups, with 7 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 35 balls. Question 6. 9 times 5 equals what? So, the answer is, 9 times 5 is 45. To calculate, we have 9 groups, with 5 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 45 balls. Question 7. 6 times 8 equals what? So the answer is, 6 times 8 is 48. To calculate, we have 6 groups, with 8 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 48 balls. Question 8. 7 times 5 equals what?
So, the answer is 7 times 5 is 35. To calculate, we have 7 groups with 5 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 35 balls. Question 9. 3 times 5 equals what? So, the answer is 3 times 5 is 15. To calculate, we have 3 groups with 5 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 15 balls. Question 10. 6 times 3 equals what? So the answer is 6 times 3 is 18. To calculate, we have 6 groups with 3 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 18 balls. Question 11. 8 times 8 equals what? So the answer is 8 times 8 is 64. To calculate, we have 8 groups with 8 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 64 balls. Question 12. 7 times 3 equals what? So, the answer is 7 times 3 is 21. To calculate, we have 7 groups with 3 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 21 balls. Question 13. 4 times 6 equals what? So the answer is 4 times 6 is 24. To calculate, we have 4 groups with 6 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 24 balls. Question 14. 6 times 8 equals what? So the answer is 6 times 8 is 48. To calculate, we have 6 groups with 8 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 48 balls. Question 15. 2 times 3 equals what? So the answer is 2 times 3 is 6. To calculate, we have 2 groups with 3 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 6 balls. Question 16. 
Five times two equals what? So the answer is five times two is 10. To calculate, we have five groups with two balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 10 balls. Question 17, six times five equals what? So the answer is six times five is 30. To calculate, we have six groups with five balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 30 balls. Question 18. Six times two equals what? So the answer is six times two is 12. To calculate, we have six groups with two balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 12 balls. Question 19. Nine times two equals what? So the answer is nine times two is 18. To calculate, we have nine groups with two balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 18 balls. Question 20. Four times six equals what? So, the answer is four times six is 24. To calculate, we have four groups with six balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 24 balls. How many did you get right? We bet you did awesome. Remember, practice makes perfect. Don't forget to click the like button if you had fun and subscribe so you can join us for even more math quiz adventures. Let's keep the math magic alive.